everyone welcome back to the garden we are in the front yard today and I'm working on my front porch let me show you what I'm talking about so front porch I have this area here which we really enjoy um, because of the sunshine and when you sit down you have a full view on the yard and the street and you get to talk to neighbors and it's um, passing cars you get to uh, really relax read a book um, you know have a cup of tea in the spring fall and summer it's wonderful but I'm gonna make it look better today and I'm gonna tell you how I here have a big box and that one is from Vivor if you remember they're the guys who sent me the um, pizza oven that we have on the back deck and in here are two planters that have trellises attached to them I'm gonna put a picture right here so you can see what I'm talking about and those two planters are going to go right here with the trellis. I'm going to have the flower part, the planter part on the other side, not on this side, so that way everybody enjoys flowers. And it's going to give me a nice privacy screen. Other things I need to do is um, add the number of the house back onto the column. It's been about eight years it's missing. Time to do it. And if I have time, I'll fix the column as well. So let's get started. So I'm super excited about this because if you remember and if you watch the channel for a long time you know that I used to have um, a banister all around and we removed it because we really didn't like it. But I still need to have some kind of protection right so that nobody falls. So first impression, um, it is teak wood. It looks to be pretty solid and it smells wonderful. Um, they attached it with staples. So this is the upper or lower part, I'm not sure. And then this, this part right here, that's the lower part. Um, and I have to figure out, I'm assuming that's the bottom with the holes and the sides right here. And all together it's two planters. And they're going to go side by side right here. So let's look at the instructions and everything that comes with it and let's start assembling. Okay, pack one. Main tools, they give you um, a screwdriver, a wrench, pretty much everything you need. I'm glad they gave me the tools. And then this, I believe, are the casters because they are on casters. So you can easily move them. Yep. Casters. So in the winter, I can move them to the garage or more towards the inside part of the porch so they're not exposed to the elements as much. And here are more casters.
Okay, so technically if you didn't want the high trellis, you could keep it this way. You would have uh, a low planter. You don't even have to put the casters on. You can just keep it like that. Um, very nice, but I'm going to add the height and the casters. hearing a crow. Uh, so what I'm doing is putting the casters that have the break uh, in the back, which is the side that's here and the ones that don't have it in the front. And it's a good thing that they're giving us breaks because even though it's going to be bottom heavy, there still is a lot of wind. You don't want those to be dancing all over the place, right? So you want to lock them in place. You are loud. Okay, so this is my side. I have a little space here. I can easily put a, a pot or whatever, or just put my uh, goat in. And this is what they look like from the other side. Let me go down in the garden so you can see better. So you remember my little Timu sign? Um, it was like under 15 bucks. All right, well, I got the rug. I was telling you I was gonna get um, just to match the stripes. And here we go. We got a little corner right here, ready for hot tea or iced tea and a book and a great view. Privacy screen. I'm gonna put some um, sweet peas and probably other plants that are deer repellent <laughs> uh, maybe some trailing stuff but here it is and it looks really cool let's look at it from the front and the side really neat I love it. All right, so a quick review. Um, they're very well made. It was super easy to assemble. The only thing is, to me, the holes at the bottom are a little bit big. So what I'll do is put some self-adhesive um, mesh so that way I don't have soil going through. And I wish there was a way of kind of putting them together a little bit more but it's not easy because it's a front porch so it's slanted so that the water moves away from the um, the house um, I'm probably going to put like a, um, a little bar or something here with two screws just to hold them together they shouldn't be moving once I have the uh, soil in them um, and that's about it they're really good I put the price right here so you can see I think they're affordable I think they are worth the price and they look really nice from the front or from the back. So once you have um, your vegetation growing, I could even put like a um, honeysuckle. I may do that actually. And then what I could do is run uh, wires all the way up to the ceiling here and the honeysuckle or whatever I have could grow even more uh, in height. It doesn't stop the wind from going through, so you're still going to get a breeze. 
I think it's perfect for that little corner. It's just perfect. I love it and I am very thankful. So thank you Vivor for sending those to me. I give them a thumbs up. I'm encouraging you to get something like that. You can buy them either as a single or as a double and I think they're worth it. So I gotta move on. Other things to do. Let's put the numbers back on the front of the house. Okay, numbers. So I got these um, on Timu. Really cheap. And I think they're awesome. So basically they are floating numbers. I'm going to drill, install those anchors. And then you got to put this little stopper here or spacer. And you basically insert the whole thing into your wall or your column and have numbers. The great thing about it is that they give you the template. So I can just drill straight into the template. I just gotta get my drill and we're gonna put it on the column where the American flag is, which is the right column. Scott got a uh, new toy for his birthday. Uh oh! Woo! He's having a good time with it. It takes videos. Um, I don't think you can see it. But look at him. Wow, uh oh! You're getting good at this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to see a video of the house. Okay, so this is where we're at. Put the flag back on, um, the two flags. What I did this year was shorten the um, pole because they so long, if there's a storm, they end up ripping the uh, armature straight out of the column, those poor columns. <laughs> so I tried to fix... Um, the best I could with the columns. Listen, I get it. You're all gonna tell me uh, that's not how you do it. You need to strip the columns and do it over. Yes, you're right. You are absolutely right. But guess what? Redoing the columns and stripping them is not on my list for this year. I have way too much uh, other things to do. So maybe next year I'll redo the column or I'll hire a guy and I'll have them, um, what do you call them? Wrapped. Maybe I'll have them wrapped. But anyway, so I did the hole that was here. I put that mesh, right? And then there was a few patch here and there. It needs to be sanded, um, which I haven't done yet. I gotta wait. But this is what it looks like. It's gonna be plant in the front. I have the two planters over there. I don't know if you can see them. My little corner. Um, we got the Navy veteran little thing here. There was also a... Um, birthday gift for Scott and sitting here in the uh, summer is very nice 
He's using it with his phone now. <laughs> Boys with toys! Hey, I'm trying to get him into a uh, hobby. So for Christmas, he got a, a plane, a radio controlled plane, but he hasn't used it yet. The what? The weather hasn't held up. Okay, I'm glad I shortened those poles. At least I'm hoping I can keep my flags. Because sometimes when there's a big storm, the whole thing gets ripped and you end up finding the flag in the neighbor's yard. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave you at that. Um, I spent three, three hours, just about. Um, and I'm glad I did because these are things that were on my list and my list is endless so you're gonna see more and more of those videos and you know I'm not this is not for the purpose of how to because clearly I don't know how to I'm just documenting the stuff that I do around the house to try to maintain it semi you know good looking uh, from across the street really um, and then maintain its value somehow. Those Collins have been the bane of my existence for 14 years now. I, you know what we need to do? We need to have a guy come in and wrap the Collins. Probably needs to replace the Collins. Yeah. Probably oh, that too. Yeah. Yeah, because people, I see people replacing the Collins all the time. Yeah. I That's, just don't know if they make that, you know, because I like the thickness of this. Well, they're tapered too. And they're tapered. So, yeah, eventually we'll have the Collins replaced, <laughs> um, but anyway, okay, so that was it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe right here at the corner. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.